Welcome back, Marshawn Olanio here, your favorite relationship strategist, and I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift them to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now, I'm sure you've heard something about Wendy Williams and her having something to say about Tabitha Brown retiring her husband. And so I'm gonna give you a recap really quickly. At some point, uh, I will put the link to the video that I watched where it has Tabitha discussing her retiring, her husband, and then Wendy Williams' opinion, and then Tabitha's response to Wendy Williams' opinion. And some of the videos that are out on the internet have it where you have Tabitha over here and Wendy over here, but you don't really have them together. So the video that I am referring to has the both of them together. So to quickly recap, Tabitha Brown is a celebrity, and her and her husband, right, they've been going through ups and downs. They've been married for a while, but the point of it is that Tabitha is now a successful woman in Hollywood and she is now telling her husband that he is able to quit his nine to five. Now her husband is an LAPD police officer and she is ready for him as well as them to now create the life that they wanted to create, create the one that they envisioned many years ago. So she put this out on social media and it got wind to Wendy Williams and she talked about her on her show. And basically Wendy was saying she wouldn't do that because she's been there, done that. She can write a book about it. It didn't go well. And her prediction about their marriage, meaning Tabitha Brown and her husband, will basically fail and have a lot of um, shaky ground because pretty much she's putting all men in the same box. And so that is why she's saying that this will not work out because Tabitha will now be the breadwinner. Her husband won't be able to handle it. And then he's be out there doing, he'll be out there doing whatever, right? Where, which is why it's going to become rocky. So people were sending this to Tabitha Brown. So she decided to get back online and say, hey, Wendy, love you so much, sis. But I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you because you were not able to find a love like the one that I have found. You were not able to find a mate who was there to support you through thick and thin. Me and my husband, meaning Tabitha Brown, me and my husband have been together when we were broke. We have been together on the come up together. And now we're on the come up as well as um, now we're together during the successful flourishing moments in our relationship. She also went on to further say that one of the reasons why Wendy feels the way that she does is because God is not at the head of her life. God is at the head of Tabitha Brown and her husband's life. And then they're able to look at their life secondary to what God's plan is for their marriage. And so she wishes Wendy the best, but she also wants to pray for her that she is able to allow another person, another man to come into her life and, life and then love her in the way that she actually needs to be loved. So that's the recap. Of course, I am paraphrasing some of these things. Definitely go ahead and watch it yourself so you can get a full picture of it. But now I'm going to give you my interpretation of what actually happened, my thoughts, my feelings, etc. So I have to say a thousand percent, thousand percent, I am wholeheartedly with Tabitha Brown. So if I am on the come up, if me and my husband are together for umpteen years, he has been with me through the struggle of trying to get my successes off the ground. And this could be vice versa, right? It could be the woman hanging on, um, not hanging on, but holding on and giving hope and, and speaking life and stuff into, into her spouse so he can make it so they can make it. Well, that is exactly what happened with Tabitha Brown and her husband. They actually made a pack 15 years ago that if he supported her in the way that she needs to be supported in Hollywood, that she would retire him. Now, originally she thought that this plan was going to take five years to do. It has taken her 15 years to be the, the celebrity that she is. So now she's able to retire her husband. She also went on to say, because he's an LAPD police officer, she does not want to get that phone call that he didn't make it because somebody seen him in his uniform and didn't want him to live just because he is a police officer. She didn't want that call. She wanted to live life and experience joy with her spouse. And so it's now time for them together to live this life that they planned many years ago. And so 
I am wholeheartedly with Tabitha. If I am on the come up, my family's on the come up. If I'm on the come up, my husband is on the come up. If I'm winning financially or and in life period, then my husband is going to reap the benefits and should be um, um, living the, the high life with me. I don't want to travel by myself. I want my entire family with me, right? I want to have a lot of memories with my family, specifically with my spouse. So if that means that just because I'm the breadwin breadwinner that I'm able to do that, then so be it. Because so many people are focusing on the wrong thing, which is the money. Yes, money is important. But if you have nobody to share these, this money, these finances, these things, materialistic things with, then it all means nothing. Like, listen, look at some of the celebrities who have committed suicide. They had all, as we on the outside are looking in, can see, they had it all materialistically. They had it all. And they still decided that they were not happy enough and they decided to take their own life. It is because money is not everything. It's not. If you're not receiving the love, the honor, the respect, and somebody to share all these things with, it means nothing. So what I really want to say is that Wendy Williams is exhibiting the classic signs of a person who has not healed, who has not dropped off her baggage. She's still carrying around her baggage. And so why am I saying this? I'm saying this because number one, when she was speaking, Everything that she spoke was fear-based. She had some fear-based thoughts about her own junk that happened to her that she has not healed from, and now she's transferring or trying to transfer it onto Tabitha Brown and her husband's what's going to happen to them, their future. It's fear-based. The second thing is that she doesn't have any trust for men, but it could just be for people in general because she's been burnt, but she also has lumped every man into the same box. She's lumped every man into the same box, which is why she's having issues with understanding Tabitha's point of view, right? And then the third thing is that her baggage that she's carrying around, she has never forgiven her ex for the things that she feels that he has done to her right maybe taking advantage because she's the breadwinner and she did x y and z helped them on the come up and then it didn't work out for them right her not forgiving her ex is a classic sign of a person that has not healed and forgiving your ex is not about them actually deserving your forgiveness it's about you being able to move on with your life so you're not lumping everybody together so you're not seeing everybody as evil as uh, as as that everybody's going to take advantage of you because it's just not true and then the fourth classic sign of her not being healed is that she has not forgiven herself for the decisions and choices that she made and so now she's trying to project her stuff onto tabitha brown and her husband and so when people are completely healed when their baggage is no longer there or at least they're able to recognize ah Yes, I'm talking trash, but that's my stuff. That's not your stuff, right? Which means they're on the path to being healed. When people are healed or on the path to being healed, they are more positive no matter what's going on. They'll be able to be a cheerleader to others out there, including Tabitha Brown and her husband. It's like, dang, sis, y'all made it. Congratulations, like y'all doing it. Y'all suffered together. Y'all was on the come up together, and now you actually made it. Kudos to you. I applaud you. Sis, y'all doing it. None of that happened it was mainly bitter talk when wendy was speaking again a classic sign of somebody who has not healed right which is why she wasn't able to be positive because she hasn't healed the second thing that healed people do is that when they get into the next relationship their relationships and all relationships in their life are much better those toxic people that they used to attract no longer do they attract them right those toxic situations that they're accustomed to they find them their way away from those toxic situations now the third thing that they do is they improve their finances when they are healed when we are healed as people we start to improve our finances because yes we know that money is important but it's not the most important thing in life it is not right so 
Tabitha understands that even if her and her husband divorce for some reason, she can still get back on top financially. Because once you understand how to crack the code to be a successful person, you can do it over and over and over again. It's basically the rinse and repeat cycle, rinse and repeat. It might take her a minute to do it. It might take her like a year because maybe she has to go through her own healing process, right? And then get back into the limelight, et cetera, et cetera. But you can still do it once you learn what you actually did, rinse and repeat it. And then the fourth and final thing that healed people do is literally they understand and they have a sense of their life improving overall in every facet of their life it starts to improve and even if they're in a valley in that moment they also understand and know that this is a moment this is not my destination i am coming through this thing so as i mentioned before i'm a thousand percent on tabitha's side wendy williams bless you and others out there that think the way that she do bless you right you need to do your healing and here's what i'll say about that if you need help with doing your healing look down in the comment section below and sign up for your free 30-minute coaching conversation because sis got you sis got you on the road to your healing on the road to your recovery so you can understand a relationship like tabitha has and even experience it if you so put in the work I love you guys and there's nothing that you can do about it. I am Marshawn Alanio, your favorite relationship strategist. Bye now. See you soon.